For this tutorial, I'll be using a few different input sources. Here I'm using a Moog MG1 synthesizer connected to the Apogee Jam, just plugged into the iPad, running through Swoopster inside AudioBus. So here we'll hear the uh, just the, the natural sound of the Moog itself without any effects from Swoopster. And then I'm going to turn on the effects. And I can hear it running through Swoopster. Okay, let's get started. Swoopster is an effects processing app, which means that it needs an input source in order to produce sound. It does not produce sound on its own. Common input sources are from AudioBus, InterApp Audio, USB audio interfaces, or the headset microphone. It is not recommended to use the built-in microphone and speaker on your device as that's a good way to produce some pretty horrible feedback. Here in AudioBus I've got Swoopster connected in the effect slot. It's actually compatible with all three uh, AudioBus effect slots, so you can use it however you see fit. Uh, right now in AudioBus I also have an input source which is the default input app which is taking a signal from my Apogee Jam and I have a Moog MG1 synthesizer connected. And then I have Propellerhead's uh, figure app connected as well. Now right now we're hearing the Moog unprocessed. I'll go ahead and tap the bypass button to run it through Swoopster's effects. Now, Swoopster has two main modes, Perform and Tweak. Perform mode is what we're in right now. Consists of four XY pads, two for the left channel and two for the right channel. Tweak mode has sliders for each channel and actually has two extra parameters that you can access that are not accessible in Perform mode. Because the effects engines are separated on the left and right and they're actually independent, you can control the effects parameters using the link button, so the channels are either linked or unlinked. So if I have it linked, you'll see moving one of these will control both. Go ahead and reset that. Now to hear how that sounds, I'll show you real quick. I'll control the speed of the flanger with the channels linked and then unlinked. Now I'm going to unlink them. top XY pads control region and manual amounts for the flanger. Moving your finger horizontally controls manual or delay time of the flanger, while moving vertically controls the region or feedback amount. When centered, the feedback amount is at zero. Moving upwards gives you positive feedback. Moving downwards gives you negative feedback. I'll demonstrate the difference between, between that really quick. Just a simple synth note here. Moving upward gives you positive feedback. Moving downwards gives you negative feedback. The bottom XY pads control speed of the flanger and the fuzz amount. Moving your finger horizontally controls the speed of the flanger. Moving vertically controls the amount of fuzz. Starting off low and pretty clean, I'll show you the sound of the uh, speed of the flanger. And again, you can of course independently control these uh, per channel by unlinking them. But for the sake of the demo, we'll just keep it linked for now.
and then fuzz them out. To get into tweak mode from perform mode, just tap the tweak button at the top. And of course vice versa. Tweak mode features six sliders per channel with two extra parameters, vibrato and modulation mix. Speed is the speed of the flanger, so you can hear, uh, let me link them, so you can just hear it on both channels. And of course, if you want to control them unlinked, just tap that to where it's not highlighted. Manual is the delay time of the flanger. So that's actually best to demonstrate. I'll turn the speed to zero so there's no sweep. And then you can actually manually sweep the delay time of the flanger to create the effect. So. Pull that back down further. Regen is the amount of feedback. And remember, Swoopster has both positive and negative feedback. So starting at zero, oh, let me turn the speed back up so you can actually hear it. If I move to the right, I get positive feedback. And move to the left, left you get negative feedback. I personally like negative feedback a little bit better, I think, but they're both cool sounds. Uh, fuzz amount is pretty self-explanatory on zero. There's no fuzz added. At 100, there is a lot of fuzz added. So. Vibrato is the amount of vibrato uh, pitch bending applied to the sound, so. Once you have that and a lot of uh, a high amount of feedback, you can get some pretty warped sounds. And again, modulation. Let me make sure this is going here. Modulation mix is just the balance between dry and wet signal. Other options you have in tweak mode are for input. So you can select uh, the default stereo left and right input. Or if you're using an interface, that, a two-channel interface, and you want to choose a specific input, you know, either channel one or channel two, you can do so there. Output gives you uh, normal stereo, wide stereo, or some to mono, which are fairly self-explanatory, but basically the default is normal stereo, so it's what we're using now. Wide stereo gives you a wider stereo spread. And then sum to mono just sums the signal to mono. So that's good for guitarists who don't use stereo setups. You also have a bypass button and a mute button in order to mute your input signal. So we'll hear how that sounds. Actually, we'll switch to a distorted tone again for the Moog. These are temporary switches, or momentary rather, meaning that when I'm pressing them down, it is muted, and as soon as I let go, the signal is there again. So this allows for like DJ style cutting. The same thing for the bypass. You can also slide the buttons to the left and let go and they'll stay bypassed. So for instance, and then you can just tap again to get out. Same thing for mute.
Now in the center panel here, we have a preset list that's meant to be played in real time. So you can tap presets to change them. You can uh, scroll through, of course, and then you can actually re-trigger the uh, start of the uh, flanger sweep by re-triggering the current uh, preset that you're on. So I'll make a little example here. So I'll play a little beat from the figure. So if I sweep through a couple of presets here. Now, to demonstrate the uh, start of the flanger sweep retriggering, I'll use a pretty distorted um, preset here so you can really hear it. Now you notice whenever I tap the preset, the, the flanger rate starts over from the beginning. <laughs> share a preset you can just touch and hold and you have options to either email it or open it in another app uh, such as Dropbox or Google Drive so you could share it that way or just to save it just to work for future use to save a preset you just tap twice so uh, if I wanted to make a preset a custom preset and save it I could you know use something to start off with here I mean, this is not necessarily going to sound good. Actually, it's not horrible, but that's just to uh, show you here. And I'll um, tap once. It's going to ask you to tap to confirm. Tap again. And then type in the name of the preset and press save. And then you can see it just popped in right here. The other thing you can do access here, whenever you need to access the uh, this the tutorial or watch this uh, YouTube tutorial again or any of these options just tap the little I button little info button and you can access this stuff anytime alright that's about it for now thank you